there, Mr. Holcomb here again with another episode of Math Behind the Module. Today we're doing lesson 19, computing actual areas from a scale drawing. Example 1 through 3, we'll be exploring area relationships. We're going to use the diagrams below to find the scale factor and then find the area of each given thing. Scale factor is what we have to multiply something by to get the scale. So the actual picture to the scale drawing. So if I did my table, original, I'll abbreviate here because of the room, and then scale and do my table like I always have been doing. And I'm going to put 4 by 3. That's my actual. This one and this one. Okay, 4 by 3. And my scale is 8 and 6. This is x. This is y. I need to know what k is. K equals y divided by x, which equals 8 divided by 4, which equals 2. 6 divided by 3 is also 2, so my scale factor is 2. So the scale factor is 2. Okay, actual area means, look at the actual picture and find its area. Area. I'm a big fan of showing your formulas. Area equals length times width. So in this case, area equals length, 4, times width, 3, which equals 12. We can write 12 here. But that's not, we always want to mention what we're talking about. Okay, is it, a, is it feet, is it inches, is it centimeters, is it yards, or is it miles? In this case, it's units. So the actual area is 12 units. A scale drawing area is the same thing. We're going to take scale drawing. An area of a square or rectangle is length times width. This is a rectangle. So the area equals length 8 times width 6, which is 48. 48 units. Okay. The value of the ratio of the scale drawing area to the actual area. Be careful with wording. The word scale drawing came first. The word two tells us where the fraction goes. And the actual area is the denominator. So scale drawing is 48 to 12, which equals 4. So the actual area is 4 units. But in this case, this is area. We're going to say units squared or squared. Four units squared. Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing here. So here's another example. <clears throat> Again, actual scale. K equals actual six, actual nine. Scale. Two, three. This is x, this is y, and k equals y divided by x, which equals y is 2 divided by 6, which is 1 third. Scale factor is 1 third. Actual area, area equals length times width, which is 54. So actual area is 54 units squared. Right now to put squared up on the next last one here. Yeah, area, 12 units squared, 48 units squared, I fault. Whenever you see the word area, it is squared. Okay, scale drawing area. So 
area equals length times width. Area equals two times three, which equals six. Scale factor, scale area is six units squared. The value of the ratio of the scale numerator divide denominator. Scale six area six actual fifty four divided by fifty four equals one ninth. So the actual area is one ninth ratio. Example three. Again, we have an actual. We have a scale. We need to know K. The actual is six by nine. The scale is eight by twelve. Okay, make sure the six goes with the eight because that's the base. Base to base, height to height. And we're looking for K. This is Y, or I'm sorry, this is X. This is X, this is Y, and K equals Y over X, which equals 8 over 6, which is reduced to 4 thirds. Okay, that is greater than one. So that means that going from our actual to our scale is an increase in size or a an enlargement. Okay, actual area. Area of a triangle is since a triangle is half a rectangle, and a rectangle's area is length times width, the area of a triangle is length times width divided by two. So that would be six times nine divided by 2, which equals 54, divided by 2, which equals 27. 27 units. Now, scale drawing area, I'll do over here. A equals length times width divided by 2, which equals length 8 with 12. 8 times 12 divided by 2. I can make that easier by dividing by 2 first, making that 4. And 4 times 12 is 48. 48 units squared. The value of the ratio of the scale drawn area to the actual area is 48 to 27. They're both reducible or divisible by three. So the three goes into four once, three goes into eighteen six times, and three goes into twenty-seven times. So it's sixteen times. Okay. Now it says results. What do you notice about the ratio of the area in examples one through three? Complete the statements below. When the scale factor of, so of the sides was 2, the value of the ratio of the area was, so i got to go back to example 1, okay? Example 1 is here. So what this is saying is, when the scale factor was 2, what was the area's uh, ratio of the scale drawing area? And it was 4. Okay, so when it was 2, we have 4. And that goes here. So when the side... Sides with factors of the size was two, scale factor of the size was two, I value the ratio of the area is four. When the scale factor of the size was one third, then the value of the ratio of the area was what? So I gotta go back to this second example. And when the scale factor was one third, our scale was one ninth of the area. So one third is to one ninth. So when I fill that in, one ninth. And then finally, it says, when the scale factor of the side was four-thirds, 
and the value of the area was question mark. And here is my four thirds scale factor. The area factor was 16 ninths. So when I plug that into here, 16 ninths. And it says, based on these observations, what conclusion can you draw about the scale factor of the area? Well, what do we do to 2 to get 4? You might think add 2, multiply by 2. What do I do to 1 third to get 9? 1 ninth. Well, 1 third plus 1 third is 2 thirds. So we aren't adding. So adding is out. So what are our choices? We add 2 or multiply by 2. And then one third plus one third is two thirds, and that is not one ninth, so that gets rid of our adding two. So that's not it. So multiplying by two, maybe. Uh, one third times two is two thirds. That doesn't work, so it's not multiplied by two. The only other option is multiply by itself. Two times two is four. That works. One third times one third is one ninth. I think we're onto something here. And then four thirds times four thirds is 16 ninths. And lo and behold, that's what we got here. So based on these observations, what conclusion can you draw about the scale factor in the area? Well, it's the scale factor times the scale factor equals area. Okay, so you multiply the scale factor times itself. Well, that's the same thing as saying scale factor squared. If the scale factor of the side is r, then the ratio of the area will be r squared. Okay? All right, example four. The student government liked your half-court basketball plan. They have asked you to calculate the actual area of the court so that they can estimate the cost of the project. Based on your drawing below, what will be the area? What will the area of the planned half court be? Scale drawing is one inch corresponds to 15 feet. Okay. So now I'm going to do actual scale to my table. This is X. I have to keep trying to write Y there. Alphabetical order. This is X, this is Y, and I need K. Actual is 2 by 1 and 2 thirds, which is 5 thirds. Our scale is 1 inch equals 15 feet, and 15 feet times 12 inches is 180. Okay. So my scale drawing is 180 inches. That's my 180 is my K. 2 times 180 is 360 inches and so what am i doing y equals k times x I'm trying to find y k was 180 times 2 which equals 360. i also have to do it for five thirds well the three will go into 180 60 times the 60 times 5 is 300 inches okay so my scale is going to be 360 by 300 inches well, now I can convert that back. So I want to know how many 360 divided by 12 is 30. 300 divided by 12 is 12 goes into 32 times. It's 24 remainder 60. That would be a 5. So it's 25 feet by 30 feet. The question says, what will the area be? So area equals length times width. So the area of the plan court will be 30 times 25. So the area is 750 feet. Just write it this way. Feet squared. Okay. Does the actual area you found reflect the results we found for examples one through three? So what they want to know is, is our scale squared to the, and does the scale squared give us the area? 
So let's take a look. Okay, so what we need to do here is our scale was one equals one inch equals 15 feet. So 15 feet is 180 inches. So what I'm going to do is take that 15 feet and square it. So our scale was 15 feet to one, which equals, and if I square that, I'm going to get 225. If I take that 225 and find my scale drawing area, which is two inches by one and two thirds inches, that would be the area of the scale drawing is two times one and two thirds, which is five thirds. And that's going to equal ten thirds. So if I take y equals kx, and k was 225, and x is 10 thirds, and I multiply that, and y will equal 2,250 divided by 3, and that does come out to be 750 squared. So I did my work there for this question here. Okay, another example. The triangle depicted in the drawing has an actual area of 36 square units. What's the scale of the drawing? All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's the distance of six. One, two, three, that's six by three. And it's telling us its actual area is 36 square units. What is the scale of the drawing? So I need to find the area of the drawing. So the area of the original, I'm going to put an O down here for area of original, equals length times width divided by 2, which equals 6 times 3 divided by 2, which is 18 divided by 2, which is 9 units squared. Okay. The actual area is 36 square units. So now I'll do my actual, or my original, and my scale. So my original scale table, like we've been doing. Remember, this is x, this is y, and we need k. All right. The scale drawing, our original, is 9 units squared. The scale drawing is 36 square units. So if I need to find k, then I say y equals, okay, not y equals, we don't want to find y, we want to find k. k equals y divided by x. Okay, y over x, which equals 36 over 9, which equals 4. So the ratio is from my scale drawing to my original, it's four times. Okay. The question says, what is the scale of the drawing, the triangle depicted? Okay, I'm gonna stop here and I'm going to run it. The bell's going to ring. So I'm going to finish this up in a part two. So this is part 